Hello and welcome to the third lesson in module 3 that is similarity triangles AA similarity. You might remember AA similarity stands for angle angle similarity. We will look into the lesson objectives now. It's only one objective that is to use the AA similarity criterion to solve problems and prove triangles similar. That's it. It's only about a similarity and it's one of the shortest listen because there's only two example problem. That's it. The keywords are similar triangles. That's it keyword. And now we will look into what is a similarity. So when there are two angles similar to each other, uh, there are, imagine there are two triangles, at least two of the corresponding angles are equal, then they are similar. Let, let us understand why and how. Imagine we have two triangles, say like this, and one bigger one, okay? okay? They don't look properly, but anyways, imagine this angle is same as this, and then this one over here is same as this one. Now, what happens? What about the third angle? From the angle sum theorem, a triangle angle sum theorem, this will be the, if this is, say 60 and this is 60 what's gonna be this it can be easily found out by 180 minus the known angle 60 minus 60 if this is 60 here also it will be 60 and here also it's 60 and then same thing it's 180 minus 60 minus 60 both the sides it will be the same angle this and this would be same so if it's, it's common sense. If two angles of triangle are equal, then the next angle must be equal. Now, if all the angles are equal, then the triangles are similar. So this is the concept which you are using. So that's why A criterion, in the sense A is similarity, because two angles will be equal, then the third angle will be equal. So if two angles of one triangle are congruent, then uh, if the uh, to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. Now let's see a problem. Determine whether the triangles are similar. Explain your reasoning. Here, we need to understand these two, tri uh, these two triangles first. Let's see which are the triangles. As you can see, one is this one. L, P and Q. Okay, that is, that is not good. Let me just take it. Let me, because I just want to uh, show this difference. Okay. Again, anyways, I, I hope you get the point. This one, see, I'll just point the headers. So this one, L, P, Q. So that is one triangle, you can see. And now the outer triangle, see, this is the uh, inner triangle line. Now the outer triangle just extends to L and P. So this is the outer one, L and K, sorry. Same thing, L and P is the inner triangle. The outer triangle is L and J. And this line over here, PQ, and over here we have another line that is J and K. Now, we need to prove they are similar. We need do not need to prove, we need to check whether they are similar. So what do we do is, see the inner triangle, right? See the inner triangle like this, this one, which is shaded in blue. The outer triangle will be the entire thing. Now, if you look carefully over here, what is the angle L? Whatever it is, it's going to be same for both the angles. Why? Because angle L is same for both the triangles. So you can see this J, L, K and P, L, Q. Doesn't matter what angle L is congruent to. So it's equal to and the sign congruent to angle L in both the cases. That's fine. Now, what about the other things? There is something that is shown over here. This is the symbol for parallelity, parallel lines. See, these are parallel lines, right? Now, we. I hope you remember, if you have two parallel lines like this, these alternating angles, sorry, corresponding angles are equal. So now you can see this line and two parallel lines. So this angle and this angle is equal. So now if this is six, uh, say this is any angle, 100, this will also be 100. So now I can write L, P and Q, angle L, P, Q must be congruent to L, J, K. So I've got one angle, two angle, then the third angle is same, it's similar. 
this is how we can easily prove it with these two statements you can easily uh, confirm this is similar these two are, are triangles this is reflexive property because the same thing reflection of each other of the same thing sorry and then we have corresponding angles theorem uh, l p q and l j k so that's it these two makes it similar now remember similar sign is just this much congruent sign is something like this we write it as equal to and this right congruent means equal and same size and shape and everything now this over here just means similar now if it's only similar just like this like an inverted s the slanted s okay so that is the thing now we will see another problem please do try to pause the video and solve it by yourselves now we will go through this over here see here in this they have already mentioned this is 90 and this is 90 so what happens basically if these both are 90 they're equal one angle a a is done i mean one angle now here we have 44 and here we have 47 how much is the other angle let's solve it'll be 180 minus 90 minus 44 so it'll be 90 minus 44 it is 46 degrees now if this is 46 degrees is it equal to 47 no is 44 equal to 47 no so these cannot be similar only one angles one set of angles are equal even over here you can find the other angle it will be 180 minus 90 minus 47 so it'll be 90 minus 47 that is equal to what it will be uh, 43 degrees okay so this is 43 and they are not same so we can say they are not similar why because you can't at least two angles must be same other two angles same no over here what do we get for angle a 46 and g over here is 43 since two pairs of angles are not congruent and triangle abc and def dfg sorry cannot be similar they are not similar okay i hope this is clear now the last problem it's like a real world problem let's read this out here demarco is teaching tai how to play handball tai prefers to return the ball on a serve when it bounces to a height of 42 inches when demarco serves the ball where should he aim for the ball to hit in front of the wall to ensure that it bounces at short line and up to tai is standing 11 feet behind the short line assume that the angles formed by the path of bouncing the handball are congruent this is very important now here we have some things this is tie a who is bouncing the ball 42 inches of up okay 42 inches up from here and this is the short line where it bounces here it bounces okay he is throwing it 42 inches it bounces over here and goes over there we need to find the six this is this has been asked for us but the most important thing is this sentence over here tells that's not given in the question see oh it's just told in the question in the figure it's not mentioned so when you see the figure in the question you should understand from this sentence that this angle the bouncing handball uh, that form the path formed here are congruent this and this is congruent okay whatever is over here here now you can see this bounces like this it formed a triangle here and then it bounces over here it formed one more triangle here okay so now this is given as 11 this is given as 25 this is x that is unknown 42 inches all you need to do is find x are they similar see over here this is 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees these both are equal you know because it's mentioned in the question so if that is the case then you can easily solve it by similarity now we have studied in the previous lesson please remember this from the previous lesson if the triangles are similar then the corresponding sides are congruent what does it mean let me give some names a let me just write it over here sorry here let me take this as a b c d and e okay now if i take this bc base okay if i take that first 
divided by the corresponding side here, which is the base here, CE. That will be equal to, if this is the height, X, that is AB. What is the height over here? It is DE. That's it. Now let's substitute what we know. BC. Now before we substitute, look over here. This is feet, feet. What about this 42 inches? 42 inches, right? Here we have two units in feet. So why don't we convert this to feet? We know one feet is equal to 12 inches. I hope you remember this. It's 12 inches. Now what about how many feet is 42 inches? Cross multiply. Or you can just directly divide this by 12 because we know 1 feet is 12 inches. So just divide total inches by 12. So you're getting in re with respect to feet. That will be 21 by 6. So, okay, yeah, still so it goes. So this is 21 by 6 and again it is divisible by 3. So 3, 2 times over here and 3, 6, uh, 5, 6, 7 times. So 3, 7s are 21 and 3, 2s are, so it's 7 by 2 or it can be written as 3.5. So it is 3.5 feet here, okay? This is 3.5 feet, which is 12, 42 inches. Now BC is given as 25 divided by what is C value given as 11 that is equal to what is AB? AB is unknown. That is what we are solving X. What is DE? DE is 3.5. Now you can cross multiply this and solve. Just take it to the other side. It'll be 25 divided by 11 into 3.5 that is equal to X. You can use the calculator and solve it. Now this, this is going to take time, but you can easily solve it by calculator and you can get the answers. So I'll just use the calculator because it's going to take a long time. Otherwise, all you need to do is type this out. Or you can even directly type this C25 divided by 11 equals alpha X divided by 3.5. Or you can type this out, anything, it's fine. Shift and solve, you'll get the answer. 7.9545 and it goes on. Let's check the answer quickly. This is all the details, you know, of, of everything. So the answer is 7.95. That's, that's the answer. Now we converted all the units to feet, isn't it? See, everything was in feet. So answer will be in feet at 7.95. So... If tie is bouncing the ball over here in the short line at this height and this distance from the short line, there will be a similar triangle formed. So we can find when the ball touches the, when the handball touches the wall over here, it will be 7.95 feet. So that's how we do this problem. And that is it. One of the shortest lessons of all in, uh, among all the other lessons. I hope it is clear. This is a very easy lesson about angle-angle uh, similarity. If you have any doubts, any questions, please do post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, until the next video, please do stay tuned and all the best. Bye-bye for now.